Good day and welcome to today's class. Today's class is a continuation of our SS1 further mathematics classes on set. At the last class, we have been able to deal with the objectives that says we should distinguish the types of set. At that class, we are able to look at the various types of set and some terms as used in um, set which will help us in the course. We have looked at finite and infinite set, where we say the finite set is a set that all the elements of that set are known and can be listed. And I gave you examples on how we can represent a finite set. When you look at a set and you have all the elements in them, we refer to them as a finite set, while an infinite set is a set that all the elements cannot be represented or are not known. And one other thing I'd like to add is in representation of infinite sets, you always have three dots, either at the end or at the beginning of the elements of the set. So that shows you that it's a continuous um, process or is a, is a continuous the elements are continuous and are uncountable. We also looked at subsets and supersets. We look at the universal set. We explained all on equal set, empty set, equivalent set, and we also touched power set and cardinality of a set. In today's class, we shall be looking at the operations on set. Like algebra, we equally have operations we carry out on um, set. And they are just two, which we refer to as the union of sets and the intersection of sets. The union of sets refers to the addition of all the elements of a set, of two sets. So when you hear the union of two sets, it means all the elements in set A plus all the elements in set B. The union of two sets can be represented using this symbol. This symbol talks about the union of two sets. For example, we have it at A union B. So this is how the union of two sets is being represented. The union of two sets is an operation in set, which requires you to add all the elements in A plus all the elements in B without repetition. So if you have an element occurring or appearing in both set A and set B, you are not to repeat it twice. All you need to do is just to write it once. So we shall be taking some examples to drive home our point. Example one says, if set A is equal to three, four, five, six, and set B is made up of element three, five, seven, nine, eleven, now we should find A union B. Solution. A union B simply means add all the elements in A plus all the elements in B without repetition. So if we are to do this, I'm going to write them in ascending order without repetition. So looking at both a and B, we have 3 being there, comma, we have 4. Now, because we have 3 here and here, doesn't mean I should write it twice, but rather just once. We have 3, we have 4, we have 5, we have 6, 7, 9, and 11. So, this is said to be the union of two sets and this can be represented graphically subsequently when we get to venn diagrams i shall show you how to carry out the operations using the venn diagram in example two we have that given the sets a to middle of element a b c d and set b to comprise of elements one two three four and set C to be made up of G, B, C, E, we are asked to find A 
union B. So A says A union B simply means all the elements in A plus all the elements in B without repetition. So this is going to be A, B, C, D, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this is the union of two sets A and B. B says we should find B union C. This means you have to add all the elements in B to all the elements in C without repetition. So same alpha numerical. I'm going to write them in ascending order. We have B, C, E, G, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is the union of B and C. C says we should have A union B union C means all the elements in A plus all the elements in B plus all the elements in C just like we have it here. So this is going to be, I'm going to write them without repetition. So we have A, B, C, D, E, and G. And we have one, two, three, and four. So this is the union of two sets, of three sets, a, B, and C. Kindly like my videos as you watch. While I recommend that you subscribe to my channel if you are yet to do so. And also follow me on TikTok and on Facebook at my lesson teacher maths. Turn on the notification bell so as to be notified whenever a new video is being uploaded. While I recommend you use the comment section to interact with me on areas that are still difficult for you to understand. You can also share the link with your friends and families so that they can also benefit from my daily classes. We shall now take the second operation on sets which has to do with the intersection of sets.